Hi, hello. The current version of the Project Management Body of Knowledge is version 5. The abbreviation for the Project Management Body of Knowledge is PIMBOK. So hereafter, we'll be using the term PIMBOK for Project Management Body of Knowledge. The PIMBOK comprises of 47 processes grouped into five process groups of initiation, planning, execution, monitoring and controlling, and closing. I repeat, the PIMBOK has 47 processes grouped into five knowledge areas, five process groups of initiation, planning, execution, monitoring and controlling, and closing. The same set of 47 processes are again grouped into 10 knowledge areas of integration, time, cost, scope, quality, communications, procurement, risk, human resources, and stakeholder management. That means every process of these 47 processes are linked to one of the process groups and one of the knowledge areas. So during the course, we'll be covering all the 47 processes. And every process has a set of inputs, inputs, tools and techniques, and outputs. So during the course of the training, I'll be taking you through all the 47 processes and their relevant inputs, tools and techniques and outputs. Our course is sequenced based on the five process group. That means first we talk about the project initiation. Then under initiation there are two processes, that is develop project charter and identify stakeholder. So we discuss those two things. Then we get into planning. So there are a set of processes under planning. The first process being develop project management plan, then plan scope management, then collect requirements, then define scope, decompose the scope into work breakdown structure, then decompose the work packages into activities, then sequence them. Likewise it goes. So first we talk about initiation related processes, then we get into planning related processes, then we get into execution related processes, then monitoring and control related processes, and then clo closing processes. So we'll be covering all the 47 processes in this sequence of the five process groups. So that will give you the natural flow of a project and uh, that will give you better ability to recollect uh, the sequence because if you can think logically you will be able to recollect whatever we discussed. Thank you.